the fossil record confirms that a bear-like creature was the likely ancestor of today's seals. And it's not difficult to spot the bear still lurking in these seals. Sometimes it's their playful character. Other times their whiskery appearance. Those first seals found the coastal waters laden with riches, literally swimming with food. Naturally, they reaped the benefits, and so one group of seals, known as the fur seals, evolved. These fur seals may have mastered the fishing, but they're still shackled to the land. They have to return for six months each year to raise their young. This northern fur seal is totally focused on her newborn. Its fur coat simply isn't thick enough to protect it from the rigors of the ocean. It needs a layer of fat, which takes about six months growing time. It's the pup that keeps the female firmly anchored to the land. And with her youngster in mind, it's the female who chooses her spot on the beach. Unfortunately, good beaches are scarce, and the result is severe overcrowding. But females don't mind other mothers for company. What they could do without, at the moment, are the tiresome males. The problem is that this male couldn't care less about the young. All he wants is lots of females. These mothers won't come into season until their pups are about a month old. Things could be quite peaceful for a while, if only the males would wait. But unfortunately, they can't. In order to make sure that he will mate with as many females as possible from the day they arrive on the beach, he guards them and bosses them constantly. The boss soon turns into a bully when one of his females wants to visit the sea. The mothers must get to the sea to fish in order to keep up their milk supply, without which their pups would starve. While the females are away, the pups, seeking comfort, huddle together in a creche. 